There are six villages around city X, namely A, B, C, D, E, F. The population of village A is 25% of X, population of B is 20% of X, population of C is two-fifth of X, population of D is 60% of C, population of E is 85% of B, population of F is 21,000, which is 35% of total population of X. So I think all these populations are interlinked basically, right? So only one value has been given, which is the population of city F or the village F. Now based on this, we'll have to arrive at all the other values. So what do we know? Uh, the population of F is 21,000, which is 35% of X. So 35% is 21,000. 35% of X is 21,000. So what should be X? 35% is 21,000 implies 10% is 6,000. So I think 60,000, right? Population of X will be 60,000. You're getting it? X will be equal to what? 21,000 divided by 35 into 100. So upon simplification, you get 60,000. So I can say X is equal to 60K. Now I think we can find out the values easily. Population of A is 25% of X. So A will be 25% of X. 25% of X is 25% of 60 is 15,000. So A is equal to 15,000. What is the population of B? B is 20% of X, right? Village B is 20% of X. So 20% of 60,000 is 12,000. B is 12,000. How about C? Population of C is 2 fifth. What is 2 fifth? 2 fifth is 40%, right? 2 by 5, 40%. 40% 40 of X. 40% of 60,000 is 24,000. So 40% of 24,000. Then population of D. Population of D is 60% of C. Huh, be careful, right? D is not 60% of X. D is 60% of C. 60% of C. So 60% of 24,000. So D will be equal to what? 60% of 24,000. That will be 12,000 plus 2,400, right? 14,400. So 14.4,000. How about E? Population of E is 85% of B. Population of E is 85% of B. 85% of B. B is how much? 12,000. 85% of 12,000 will be 12,000 minus 1,200 minus 600. 10,200. So 10.2,000. 10 10.2,000, right? And F is directly given, right? F is equal to 21,000. Done. Once you know all the 5-6 values here, you can solve the questions very easily. What is the average number of villagers in B, D, E and F together? Average number of villagers in B, D, E and F together. I'm sure you can do this, right? B you know, D you know, E you know and F you know. Average, sum of all the values by number of values. So B is 12, 12 plus 14.4, 26.4, 26.4 plus 10.2, 36.8, 36.8 plus 21. 36.8 plus 21 will be 57.8. 57.8 8 by 4. 57.8 divided by 4. 1000, right? So 56 by 4 is 14. 1.8 by. Did we go wrong somewhere? Oh, I think we'll get 37.6. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think only decimal points here are 0.4 and 0.2. Right, so 57.6 57 57 .6 by 4. So 56 by 4 is uh, 14. 1.6 by 4 is, you know, 0.4. So 14.4. 14.4 thousand. 14.4 thousand. Option 3. Right. Next one. In village B, 32% of total population are females. In village D, 30% of total population are females. And in village E, 28% of total population are females. What is the total female population of B, D, E together? Wow. So just have to take 32% of B, 30% of D, and 28% of E. Add. Total female population, right? So B, 32% of B. See, 32% of 12,000. So that will be like 32 by 100 into 12,000. So can we take it as 32 into 120? Yes. You're getting it. Percentage is by 100. This is into 1,000. 1,000 by 100 is 10. So 32 into 12 into 10, which is 30 into 120. Plus, uh, females in D, 30%. So 30 into, what is the total population of D? 14.4 thousand. So, yeah, that will become 144. Right, 14.4 into 1000. So two zeros will get cancelled. One zero will make 14.4 as 144. Plus, the females in E, 28% of E. So 28 into 102. 28 into 102. That's it. 
do this calculation and you will get the answer. But if you are a smart student, you will not do the calculation immediately. You will go by unit space method because I can see that most of the options have got different unit places 0, 4, 0, 8, 6. So only if the answer is ending in 0, we will be struck because one option is 11,280, third option is 11,760. But if the answer is ending in 4 or 8 or 6, we can straight away mark the answer. So a smart person will not do the calculation. He will only work on unit space. 2 into 0 will end in 0. So first number ends in 0 plus 0 into 4, second number also ends in 0 plus the third number 8 into 2 ends in 6. So the sum of these three numbers will end in what? 6. So I can say the answer is 11,016. Straight option 5. Now this is smart. So, you know, all this calculation that we have done so far doesn't matter. What matters is how do you do this step to get the answer. All those who have done actually 32 into, I mean, see, 32 into 120 is not difficult. 32 into 12 will be uh, 3840, 3840. 30 into 144 is also not difficult. 144 into 3 will be uh, 432, so 4320. 28 into 102 also is not difficult. That will be 2000. 856 but why do we do i mean even if you can do it mentally very simply why do you have to do just go by unit space method and don't even write this 0 plus 0 plus 6 you can mentally verify that answer is ending in 6 so option 5 is the answer right how many of you have got the i mean all of you have got the right answer right option 3 and option 5 but my question to all of you is how many of you have done unit space method for the last question tell me Okay, Umesh has raised some query here. He says, why should it be 60k? Nowhere it is mentioned that all six villages population equals to city x population. I don't even know that total is adding up to 60. Whatever you have verified. It will not even add up to 60. Your, your point itself is wrong, Umesh. 15 and 12 is 27. 27 and 24 is like 51, 51 and 4. It is already crossed 60k. The first line, you read the last line. It said, Population of F is 21,000, which is 35% of X. So 35% of X is 21,000. X will be 60,000 from that. So how many of you have done the complete calculation to arrive at the answer for this second question here? And how many of you used the smart? So just tell me smart or stupid. Have you used the smart method, which is unit space method, or a stupid method, which is the complete calculation? Harshit Tareja has mentioned me. Now I don't know whether you are saying... I mean, whether me implies smart or stupid. Pritam Das did it by root digit method. Well, fantastic Pritam, you have applied root digit method, but why? Unit space method is a lot easier when compared to root digit method. So why do you want to apply root digit method? You will not be awarded extra mark for doing something special there, right? So smart or stupid, quick. I have two more questions on the same data, but before that I want to see how many of you have done smart work and how many of you have done the stupid work. Manasa has used stupid method. Revati has done it in a stupid method. Sri Lakshmi has done the stupid method. Umesh is not feeling like using the term stupid. So he's saying I'm, I, I did not use the smart method. Well, anyway, you have not used the smart method, right? So guys, all those who have done the complete calculation, just look at the amount of time that you have spent there to get the answer. And someone who's smart is like 006, so answer ends in 6, option 5, next question. So by the time he's in like question number 4, you're still in question number 2. Doing that 28 into 102, 32 into what? 120, 13 to 144. Okay, so the, the, the technique lies not in the shortcut formula, right? Shortcut is not important. Your calculation ability is more important. Let me share the screen again and present the next two questions to you. So let's look at the next two questions. Yeah. I think here are the next two questions, but lot of scribbling. So what do we do? I think I'll have to learn these values by heart for a moment so that I can copy. 60, 15, 12, 24, 15, 12, 24, 14.4, 10.2, 21. I'm sure all of you will help me with that, right? X equals to 60K. I think D was what? How much? 14.4, right? E was 10.2. Tell me if I'm going wrong somewhere because I've memorized those values and now putting it up here, right? 21K. So these are the values. Let me look at the next question. So it says, 
uh, in village A, the respective ratio between the total number of males and total number of females is 2 is to 3. If the total number of males in village C is 250% of the total number of males in village A, what is the respective ratio between the total number of males and total females in village C? You do it. I think I'll give you a quick one minute to try this out. Simple question. Break up village A as per the given ratio, find out number of males, take 250% of that to get the number of males of village C. Based on that, find out the number of females in village C and then get the ratio. Quick. Two minutes or maybe one and a half minutes for the next two questions. Sai Srikant says, where is the video on root digit method? Well, Srikant, that is a part of the simplifications topic. You can go check the simplifications video. Go check the simplification video. Charan is the first one to respond. He's got 5 is to 3, option 4, waiting for others. Also solve the next one, Charan. Got it? Alright, let's look at the solutions now. I think many of you have got the answers 5 is to 3 for the first one here on the screen. I don't know if you have solved the second one as well. So look at this question, it says in village A, the respective ratio between the total number of males and the total number of females is 2 is to 3. So in village A, where we have 15,000 population, the ratio of males to females is 2 is to 3. So divide 15,000 into the 2 is to 3 ratio, 2 is to 3 ratio, 5 parts, right? 15,000 divided into 5 parts is 3,000, 3,000 each part. So this will be 6,000 and this will be 9,000, right? Males is to females, males branch and the females branch. So we know that the number of males in village A, this is for village A by the way, right, is 6,000. Now it says if the total number of males in village C is 250% of total number of males in village A. So males in village C, males in village C is equal to 250% of males in village A, which has come out to be 6,000. So how much is 250% of 6,000? 15,000 basically, 2.5 times 6,000. Now the point is if the males in village C are 15,000, what will be the females in village C? See, total population of village C is 24. Out of 24, if you remove 15, you get 9,000. So you can say the number of females in village C is 9,000. What is he asking us to find out? What is the respective ratio between the total number of males and total number of females of village C? Males is to females of village C. So 15,000 is to 9,000. What is 15 is to 9? 5 is to 3, option 4. Next, the total population of village A and B together is what percent more then the total population of village D and E together. Now this is a straight percentages based question. X is what percent more than Y? X is what percent more than Y? X minus Y by Y into 100. Yes or no? We have discussed this in the data interpretation video. X is what percent more than Y? X minus Y by Y into 100. What is X here by the way? A and B together. So what is A plus B together? 15,000 plus 12,000? 27,000. What is Y, D and E together? D and E together, 14.4 and 10.2, 24.6, 24 24.6, 24 so x is 27, y is 24.6, do the calculation, let me get some space here, yeah, let's do the calculation, now. x minus y by y in 200, so 27,000 minus 24.6 thousand, divided by 24.6 thousand, into 100 so the answer will be 27 see you don't have to worry about thousands there because anyway that's common in numerator and denominator so this is like 27 minus 24.6 is 2.4 right 27 minus 24.6 2.4 2.4 by 24.6 approximately 10 percentage and actually less than 10 percentage why See, for 24.6, 10% is 2.46. But what we have in the numerator is only 2.4. So it is 0 0.06, less, uh, 0 0.06 less, which means it will be less than 10%. Now look at the options. Very close to 10% and less than 10%. Immediately option 2, option 3, option 5 get eliminated. Choices are 9.76 or 8.75. You know that it is like too close to 10%. So you can go for option 1. If you say, no, 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 I don't want to take any chance. How do you know 9.76 percent is the answer? Then do the calculation. Do a proper precise calculation. You will figure out that option 4 also is wrong. Right, so the answer is option 1, 9.76 percentage. 